Okay, this is how we turn remainders into decimals. Say you have something like 628 divided by five, and you've already gone through all the steps where five goes into six once with one left over, and five goes into 12 twice with two left over, and five goes into 28 five times with three left over. But a remainder is a piece, which is a fraction, which is a decimal. All of these things are the same thing. So since any numbers past this point are decimals, start out with a decimal point. Now the three moves just like all the other remainders did but it always tacks onto the next number and there's nothing there. Well, if nothing was a number, wouldn't it be zero? Give it a zero. And now five goes into 30 six times and our quotient is 125 and six tenths. Now, sometimes it can go on a lot longer. Look at 534 divided by seven. Seven doesn't go into five, but it does go into 53 seven times with four left over. Seven goes into 44 six times with two left over. Decimal point up and down. You don't have to do the one on the bottom, but it does keep things organized. Then write the remainder, give it a zero. Seven goes into 20, two times with six left over. Give that remainder a zero, and it keeps going until it actually ends evenly, or you just wanna stop and round it. So that's what you do with the remainder. You turn it into a decimal. Questions, comments, you can find me at tutoringmindset.com. See you there.